Few collaborations between production knife makers and custom designers have been as fruitful as the one between Real Steel Knives and Jakub, I won't pronounce his last name, from Poland, also known as Poltergeist Works. The latest offspring of this uh, unholy coalition is the Real Steel Luna slip joint knife, which you see here. This one being the Micarta version, this is a special uh, factory order, you could say, by a German knife distributor. It sports both natural canvas micarta handle scales and the green ones you see here. The Real Steel Luna is arguably the lightest and probably most fashionable slip joint modern EDC style knife that you can have today. The knife is ultra sleek, it is super lightweight at ridiculous 1.5 ounces and is extremely well designed. The Poltergeist collaborations with Real Steel in the past have always guaranteed supreme Real Steel manufacturing paired with Jakob's exceptional designs, and Luna is no exception to that. With a sub 3 inch blade and a slip joint mechanism, the Luna should be relatively legal in most of the countries, at least here in Europe, and it's so lightweight that you basically forget it's there. The Micarta handle scales offer a nice portion of grip, also, they also attract raw indigo from my jeans, so I have some blue stains in them already. The size is, at least for my medium-sized, medium-glove hands, extremely well designed for EDC purposes. You could say with a 2.6 whatever blade, uh, it might be a little too short, but I found that not to be the case in all the applications that I've put the Luna to work already. The pull weight on this knife is relatively light, something about a 4, especially if you compare it to more traditional style knives like the GEC models. Uh, the specialty about this system is the 120 degree stop you see here. I find this to be relatively sensible, because if the blade was to accidentally fold on you, you won't cut your index finger as I have done many times with more traditional 90 degree stop knives. The blade is extremely thin and pointy, it's only 0.09 inches thick, or about 2.5 millimeters, which makes a whole lot of sense in an EDC knife. The grind is nice and even, and the Poltergeist works specific long pulls give the blade a nicely aggressive touch. Size-wise, you could compare the Real Steel Luna to your average garden variety Victorinox knife, as you see here. Blade lengths are also relatively comparable, Although I think the Luna blade is a whole lot more capable because of the increased width and the improved belly for better slicing capabilities. When it comes to width, Luna definitely wins the battle. You see, this thing is ultra thin and it takes up way less pocket space than any other modern or traditional knife that I currently own. But let's stick with the slicing real quick, because that is what Luna definitely does best. There have been, well, a lot of discussions on the internet about how thick or thin a knife should be, how thick or thin it might be behind the edge, and how that might affect the cutting ability of a knife. For me, I've decided that the thinner a knife is behind the edge, the better it cuts, period. Here you see me cutting up some ginger, just for demonstration purposes. As you see, the very fine tip is excellent for carving out little you know, the bad spots of stuff. So the Luna definitely is a very nice all-purpose kitchen carving tool and whatever else you might call it. But now let me introduce you to the German concept of the Schneiteufel. Schneiteufel, in a very direct translation, means as much as cutting devil, which pretty much perfectly describes the qualities of this knife. I remember my grandma telling me about a certain knife in a kitchen saying, oh, watch out, that's a Schneiteufel, which meant as much as don't cut yourself with it. And I know I've cut myself a whole lot of times in my life, especially when cooking, and I think Luna is pretty capable of cutting me one day. You might notice how easy it is to chop through this ginger. As you might know, ginger is quite a fibrous material and can be hard to cut, but with Luna it was really just a breeze, that's it. So what might make the Real Steel Luna an excellent knife for you as much as it is for me? Well, first, it's pretty legal in most countries. It is super lightweight, it is super thin, it's an excellent summer knife. 
It has micro handle scales, which I love. They are robust and they look good. I love the Poltergeist Works design as much as you might do. And the very best thing is the cutting ability. If you think about that many, many production knives we get don't cut as good as they should, at least in my opinion, the real steel Poltergeist models are pretty much an exception to that. And what's more fun than working and cutting with a knife that actually cuts? So if you're in for a super lightweight, super stylish and well-designed super cutter, then well, I'd say just get one as long as you can. Oh, and by the way, bonus nonsense, the two back screws and the lanyard hole look like a terrified emoji.